Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Hearthstone deck spotlight. My name is Tommy Wave, and today we are looking at Astreel's Odd Face Lock. Uh, a really, really spicy build here. We haven't played an Odd Face Lock before. Uh, obviously, Odd meaning we're playing Baku the Moon Eater, which is going to upgrade our hero power. The Warlock hero power, uh, when upgraded, you do not take any damage for it. Just straight up draws you a card for two mana. So, uh... This deck, uh, as a shell and kind of functionally, is very similar to Odd Hunter. So I think that's what we're kind of going to compare it uh, to. We can look at the curve and see it's it's got that massive, that huge one drop pylon there, that tower of one drops, all sixteen of them. And remember when we played uh, uh, the uh, Odd Odd Hunter last week, um, Flux Flash was one. Where it was like fifteen or sixteen one drops. 14 13 or 14 three drops one five drop which was Leroy so uh, very similar kind of uh, makeup there uh, the one drops that we've got in here abusive Acherus Firefly Flame Imp Glacial Shard Cobalt Librarian and Void Walker uh, most notably absent here is the Dire Mole. Um, I think abusive sergeant has made the cut over the Dire Mole here I'm not sure if I agree with that I think Dire Mole is very important right now in a meta full of fireflies um, you know, we really want to, if we are playing one toughness, um, uh, one toughness minions, they really have to be quite high impact. Uh, and I'm not too sure if Abusive Sergeant is that, um, but we'll see during the games if we would prefer to have had uh, some more proactive one drops in the deck. Uh, some more interesting stuff down here at the three drop slot. We've got Questing Adventurer, usually only seen in like uh, uh, Miracle Rogue or com combo decks. Uh, but Questing Adventurer is in here presumably because of that big old one drop tower that if we do land the Questing Adventurer and we do have a, a handful of some one drops we can usually deploy our whole hand uh, the turn after or maybe even deploy some of them on that turn so uh, gonna be really curious to see how the Questing Adventurer goes if we can capitalize on the, on the game plan or if we're simply going to have run out of a lot of gas uh, in the early game, trying to push our advantage with all these low drop creatures. Uh, fledglings in here, good to see it. We have the 2-1 uh, split of Fungal Monster and Scale Banes. Doom Guards, it's good to be playing a zoo deck with Doom Guards again. We've kind of been skipping out on some of them lately um, with uh, just, just playing some different styles of decks. But we're back on Doom Guard and I'm keen to hit people in the face for five. Uh, other than that, uh, the one of Wolf Rider in here is, uh, I can really respect that. I think Wolf Rider is still uh, a great card. Um, keen to uh, get some damage in with that. Uh, but yeah, other than that, it's uh, it's one that we're really going to have to um, have to experiment with uh, and play a couple of games with because uh, we've never played any, any anything like this other than the uh, the Hunter. So we'll jump into some games and see how we go. Versus. Okay. Druid. Definitely the uh, my least favorite deck to come up against lately. Seems that every druid has my number. Um. So we are on the coin here. So we will have the option to coin vicious fledgling. I think I like that. I think I do like that. We don't have to be too aggressive with the mulligans here because we uh, are not playing, not playing Keliseth. So I'm happy playing the librarian here. Uh, yes, we could Glacial Shard Freeze, stop them from hero powering and killing our thing. But if they're hero powering, it means they're not playing um, so Wild Growth. If they're not playing Wild Growth, it means they can't swipe the uh, fledgling. Ooh. Yucky. Well, given that we have the second fledgling to follow up. 
I, I feel okay. If we had drawn another one drop, preferably one that doesn't have one toughness, I also would have considered uh, maybe doing some combination of that. <gasps> a wrath? I always have wrath. Tempting to play that uh, questing adventure, but the later we play Vicious Fledgling, the worse it gets. I guess that's kind of true. With oh my gosh, this could be Mildred. Give me a quest. I submit. Okay. I hope it's slow taunt root because no scarabs. Yes, that would that would be great. Not fearing. Hmm. With fungal mancer, a bit of uh, a little bit of slow grow going on here. So kind of desperation, uh, desperation move from our opponent there. Quest failed. Indeed, nerd. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go Doom Guard here. Uh, I'm a bit scared of like a primordial Drake coming down. Ugh. Those are definitely the two cards we wanted to uh, keep as well. That really sucks. If they do have Primordial Drake here, that was kind of our... Uh, or Lich King. That was kind of a bit of our, uh, our out there. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 11, 13. Yeah, we got him. Ooh. So, I think we definitely got a bit lucky there. Our opponent had had a super awkward draw. Um, like they did have the answers early, but it seemed like they uh, they kind of stumbled a bit with the answers in that late game. Uh, I think if they had had like a Jasper Spellstone or something like that at, at some point, oh my gosh, we uh, I don't think we that game would have been remotely close. But we'll be back with another. All right. Rogue. This is definitely one of those uh, matchups where if this was a dire mall, we'd be keeping it, but cannot keep the one ones. Got the Void Walker though. Hopefully that can protect our uh, questing adventurer. Hopefully it's not Odd Rogue. None will survive. Ugh. Not the draws we want to hit with our uh, with a questing adventure in hand. Maybe the questing adventure will just provoke some uh, removal out of our opponent, though. Why do you call? Gotta watch for backstab into. QA, what's QA? Questing adventure. Oh, backstab the questing adventure. Yeah. Whoa, what is happening here? Our opponent is going 
fully unhinged on turn two. The Brotherhood shall prevail. For good reason. Iron Beak out. Off the top. Damn it. Hmm. No dice on the owl. Come on, soul fire. Damn it. Soul fire. Damn it. Well played. Well. Look, that really is one weakness of the deck. If your opponent plays a uh, turn to 10 10 Van Cleef, there's just nothing you can do about it. Ingest. Ingest. They definitely made a, uh, made a pretty bold move. Bold move. But, uh, paid off for them. Obviously, if we had the Owl, like, that's. I think that game. Uh, goes the opposite way. They have to have some quite a good hand to get back from that. Ooh, Voidwalker into fledgling. I like this one. So I think we'll make the same play uh, as last time. We'll. Library? Maybe. Hmm. I have the option of Voidwalker now, though. Well, that's just the best of both worlds. So, best case scenario, this actually provokes like a wrath out of our opponent, or a, or a Jasper Spellstone. This this owl's actually quite good if they are uh, if they are relying on a um, an ironwood golem or the the spell that gets the golem. Branching paths, armor, armor. I'm a bit lost right now. Upgrading it. They could be upgrading stones, but like, you only need one armor to... to one lot of uh, armor upgrade to at least get it to a reasonable level. Speak your peace. Like, draw, draw armor is 100% Hmm, okay. no stealth or anything there. Yeah, it sucks. If they are making the play to upgrade their spell stones, then it totally paid off for them there. Because they'll have a uh, 6 damage spell stone. Well, they're just going to make us deal an extra 24 damage to them. Okay. So we're definitely not extending any more into a uh, into mm. we're not going to extend any more into spreading plague. Which I can only imagine they have. This is where Void Ripple would be the sickness. I thought, why not attack him with Fledgling? But you didn't get Wind Fury. I always get it. Oh, come on. Don't, don't give me those. Don't give me that. 
Uh... Who dares summon me? Uh, a paltry task. Has this really necessary? So they don't have spell stones. Like what cards make sense for them to have? It's like, like all of the high end, like, like the other spreading plague, ultimate infestation, like Lich King, these kind of cards. Good thing is they can't trade these, uh, these off. And we got pretty good, uh, good luck with the Doom Guard, the, uh, Wolf Rider and the Glacial Shard being two of the least valuable cards in her hand. Time waits for no one. Ugh, okay. Hmm. So I have some options. We can Iron Beak Owl, get a fledgling hit in. Or we can Soul Fire. Hmm. Iron Beak, I guess, is the... Uh... Finally. <laughs> so I kind of wanted to maybe avoid playing the Dying Beak Owl there, just because if they did have a big taunt, we want to be able to push through. Give me a quest. Damn it. So they can kill it with if they have Malfurion. They can hero power Malfurion and then hero power again. Onward, oh. Never mind. Their opponent's going to Drake City. Hmm. Aren't we just the luckiest ducks you've ever seen? The luckiest ducks you've ever seen. Hmm. Yeah. Ba -ba -da -da. <laughs> Spicy. Banned fledgling. <laughs> I mean, hey, we didn't get Wind Fury for like three turns, right? We're allowed to, uh, we're allowed to have that one. All right, so let's take a look at this, uh, this odd face lock list. I mean, it felt, it felt pretty good. I think the, the only thing that I'd say is that, uh, the, the upgrading of the hero power never really came into effect. Like, we, we were never really... Uh, pressured 
too much in terms of health, you know, where in some games where we tap, you know, two, three, four times, the, the health makes a difference. We, we didn't play any games where it did. Um, and we do lose quite a lot in terms of deck building, um, like, uh, by, by not being able to play even cards. Like I'd almost, um, say like, how does this deck look if we're just like cut Baku, cut the Iron Beak Owls, play, uh, play Kaliseth and then play Spellbreaker instead of the... Like, how does this look? Kind of looks fine. You know? Like, yeah, we get, you're going to play some... Uh, I think there are going to be games you play where you do tap like five times and the 10 health makes a, a big difference. But, you know, I don't think this deck looks too much worse or better than than the uh, the odd version. But uh, I could be totally wrong. Definitely uh, go out there, give it a shot. Hey, those questing adventurers were pretty sweet too. So we might... Um, might look at testing those maybe test them out in odd hunter that sounds pretty sick hey uh but yeah let me know what you think of the deck if you are watching this game this uh video on youtube all the links are down in the description including the link to the hearth pwn deck and the deck code if you do want to play this deck you can just copy it and bang it straight into uh into hearthstone uh if you want to uh catch me if you've got any decks you want me to play you've got some feedback best place to do that is on twitter at tommy underscore wave uh, and all the other social media links are down there. I am on Instagram, you know, go for walks every so often. We went, went on a, a nature walk on Tuesday. We saw a wallaby, got a video up there of that. If you're a fan of Australian wildlife, there you go. Um, and also want to let everyone know all the subs or people who are interested in subbing over on Twitch do have a new emote. It is the stay wavy emote. Um, there's even a pride version as well. Uh, but yeah, until next time, hope you enjoyed the deck, um, and you have a great rest of the day, and stay wavy. I'll catch you soon. Bye.